This is the third period of the 149-pound class. Been rather quiet so far. Lloyd Kieser of the United States leading Paul Pinagin of the Soviet Union by a score of one to nothing. And Nick, I noticed that even though that one point was given Kieser for inactivity, he showed more aggressiveness in the first period than his opponent. They don't go back if there's none in the second. No, they don't. Kieser picks up a second point there, grabbing control, and now leads it two to nothing. USSR wrestler that doesn't seem to understand the new philosophy of international wrestling that you can't run off the edge as uh, calmly and calculatedly as he's been doing. I think the judge, the referee, the USSR referee will remind him again somewhere during the interim. Steady pressure, steady pressure. He's keeping his Russian opponent from wrestling his wide open style. Lloyd is very strong, a uh, U.S. Marine Corps officer. He's a very strong man. And if he can just keep his arm control on his opponent, he'll get him two arm raids to be very effective in his rounds. Wait a minute. Very quick back step. Lloyd step out of it. Second caution. Now this leads to a possible disqualification. More importantly, right now it also gives Kieser his third point, puts him in command, three to nothing, with a minute thirty to go. There's a slight trickle of blood around Pinagin's mouth. He's taken quite a beating from Kieser's head in that area. I'm surprised they haven't warned uh, Lloyd for his head position. Now, now, Lloyd will keep it there as long as he's allowed to. You're going to hear a howl from the crowd, but unless Lloyd gets that head out of there, I'm sure he's going to be penalized. And the crowd is sure he shouldn't be. Again, that leg trip. With some effect on Kiza. Boys Kiza to waver a little bit. And leg sweep. Match is coming to an end. The United States is going to win for the first time against the Soviet Union. Lloyd Kieser in the 149-pound clash defeats Paul Pinochet.